Okay. All right. We're going in five, four. Uh, oh, black screened. Three, two. Oh, maybe not. Okay, there we go. Three, two, one. Okay, perfect. If he joins, we'll just go up to 15 anyways. All right. Hello and welcome back to uh, Bacon Craftia, UHC 27. Woo! Whoa. Oh, that was enthusiastic. That was great. Okay. Let's try that again. Nah, that's, that's all good. Uh, you may remember, uh, a little over two years ago, uh, we had our official, like, final season. Uh, we did a Kings, Teams of 3, and 1.9. Uh, that was UHC 26. But since then, the Discord servers uh, kind of just kept going. Uh, last summer, we did a modded server, and this summer, we decided to reboot. So we're freaking back. Um, and we got all 20 original server people plus 15 new people, so we're... Having so much fun, the SMP is open, it's going strong. Everything's awesome. Anyway, expect more UHCs to come, and uh, we're happy to be back. So this season, uh, we are doing a Minecraft version 1.13.2. Uh, we are doing the Mystery Teams game mode, and right now we're doing two teams of seven. If TNT can show up, we'll do five teams of three. Um, how this will work, just for anyone who hasn't done Mystery Teams, at the start of the game, you're each going to get a banner. That banner will be a specific color, and that is your team's uh, color. Over the course of the game, uh, it is your job to go run around the world and find other people to show your banner colors to. Uh, and if they are the same color, they're your teammate. If not, uh, spoiler alert, they aren't. It uh, doesn't mean you have to kill them, but they're not going to help you win um, at the start or at PvP. That's a good question that Mark will answer. What, the start or PvP? Yeah. It's generally PvP for... Yeah. Okay, we'll do it at PvP then. Um, and then... Uh, oh yeah, If you, when you get the banner, don't say anything about your team color or anything like that. Because um, you don't want other players to know. The whole point is that you have to go figure out what's slow. Are you okay? Uh, you have to go danger. figure out... Someone help me. <laughs> uh, you have to figure out who your teammates are. Um, no. Just a heads up, you will receive a full stack of those banners. You can put them on your shields, you can place them, uh, but a fair warning, you can't craft banners. Uh, so if you throw your banners away, it's going to get really, really awkward later in the game. So I would recommend not throwing your banners away. Yeah. Uh, also, if you do get a kill, uh, please just discard the banners of the person you killed. Uh, you are not allowed to well, use you know you those people's away. banners to uh, trick other people into thinking they're your teammates if they are not. Uh, for some basic game here. rules, <laughs> just so you guys know, uh, the world is currently 1400 by 1400. The border will start shrinking at the end of episode 4, uh, down to 200 by 200 at the end of episode 7. Uh, that is about a block every six seconds, so you absolutely can outrun it. Please do. Um, if there isn't a winner by the end of episode eight, uh, the border will then shrink down to 100 by 100 over that episode. Um, usual bacon crafty rules apply. No strip mining, no roller coastering, no mods of any kind, except for Optifine. If you do have Optifine, uh, just make sure to rekey that zoom and be wary of invisible mobs, because that's an Optifine thing, maybe. Uh, Nether is on. Potions are on. Uh, all of them are on. Ghasts will drop gold ingots instead of gas tears, so you can't make regen pots. Um, and then also, don't ride the horses. Horses are a pain and sometimes buggy, so just don't ride those. Uh, lastly, some shoutouts. Shoutout to Pete's Arcado, uh, with help from Blue Panda Wizard and J-Dog, none of who could be here today, but they built our lovely spawn today. Uh, and then shoutout to Ripper M. Steve, or Ripper Steve M5, I was going to mix it up, for help with the script. Uh, Mark brings up a good point. Make sure to turn those subtitles off. Uh, don't be using those. And then shout out to everyone who let me test the script on them for like two hours. There's a lot of them. Most of them aren't here. BBR is here. Thanks, BBR. Uh, and then, now that that's done, let's go over the players. Uh, so we have Dino Yoshi, who's officially joined the SMP. So, Hello. yay, Dino's here. We have a new player, uh, DJ8 Ninjet. So, that's Howdy. exciting. We also have Soul VG, who's a super bro and uh, is subbing in for us today. Thank you so much, Mr. Soul. And then we have uh, San Junipero, aka just Kyle. So he's joined the SMP as well. Glad to have him. We have Ford, uh, who's our eternal dictator and is providing our team speak. So thank you, Ford. 
unfortunately, we have added Quill J1 to our server. I apologize to everyone else for this. No, I'm just kidding. We're so happy Quill's here. Quill's awesome. Hey, what's up? Thanks, Quill. Uh, we also have Sloth, who I think Mark has put in a box. Um, good you didn't realize that until now? Good job, Mark. Uh, we also have Nora, uh, who's back. Thanks thanks for playing. We also have Agent K, who hasn't been here in freaking forever, so good to have you back. Oops. Good to see you. Uh, Kitty Witty's also here, so hi, Kitty. Welcome. And, of course, we have uh, Mr. Boppy. Boppy's always always happy to have around. And uh, BBR, who let me test script things on him forever and ever and ever. Uh, and then Mark, who's hiding, uh, who's now co-admin person of uh, Bing Crafty. has been for a little bit, but... No, it's official. Uh, yeah, no, I don't know why I gave it to him. And then if TNT does show up, we will have possibly two TNT, who's also now part of the server. But anyway, uh, that's everything for the intro, if anyone has. Ready? Begin. Game over. Okay, ooh, I'm so nervous. I'm so excited to be back, by the way. <gasps> Here we go! Alright, give... So something I forgot to mention in uh, the intro, we did a few SMP events. Alright, welcome to Bacon Crafty at UHC 27. Uh, my name is KirbyMD, and I'm so freaking excited to be here. Um, um, so excited to be here. So freaking excited. So we have 15 people. We're doing five teams of three. It is mystery teams, and those will get given out at uh, PvP on... Um, I'm so genuinely excited to be back. Um, we have a lot of just really, really cool people here. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm ready. Um, I was originally, I was going to give out banners straight at the start, let people go run around, try and find some teammates from the get go. Um, but I guess that's not a thing that usually happens in mystery teams. I don't actually know. I don't really, uh, play UHC all too often anymore. Um, but let's let's just get let's just get rolling. I'm excited. So I kind of briefly mentioned at the start. If you haven't been keeping up with uh, the subreddit, which uh, spoiler alert, you haven't. Um, we did reset the SMP. Freaking! Uh, I'm so excited. Basically, what happened was uh, about two years ago, at the end of May 2017, when kind of the my first year up at college ended. Um, we shut down the server. UHC because I was going on uh, a life uh, journey of sorts, um, and that was going to last a good while. So, uh, talked to everybody in the server, and they just we just kind of all decided that it would be best to just close the server down since I wasn't going to be a part of it. And this has kind of been my project for a very long time, um, and so it shut down. And then now we um, I ended up coming back a little early from that journey. And uh, eventually hopped back into the Bacon Crafty Discord, which was being uh, led by Mark. Not really much was going on. Uh, it was kind of like completely dead. Um, but I appreciate Mark for uh, keeping that alive while I was gone. And uh, I rejoined, and last summer, um, after meeting a few more friends up at college, 
um, who were moving away for the summer back to their hometowns, um, decided to start up a modded Minecraft server uh, so that we could still keep in touch. So they were on it pretty frequently. Um, we also added a few people then, uh, like officially to the roster, um, back when we were doing this, way back when, um, we were kind of pretty stingy about who we let in, um, just because we had had some bad experiences with very un, uh, just kind of, uh, annoying and generally not meshing well with the group people, so I, was, I started to get kind of stingy, but when the modded server came back, um, basically there were still a bunch of people in the Discord from when we had ended things with UHC 25 and 26, um, and so they all officially became full-time SMP members. Uh, and then this year, like I said, we completely rebooted, um, added a whole bunch of new people, and uh, now we are here. Um, there's 35 of us in total. Unfortunately, um, this was the date that got the most votes for the UHC, and even then, we just didn't pan out for a lot of people. That's what happens on summer break. Most of us... Um, are now, you know, in college, um, there are still a few kids in high school, but for the most part, we are a lot of college-aged people. I hope that one activated. Okay, perfect. Um, and so it's just kind of become a lot busier for pretty much everyone, uh, and this is the day that got the most votes, so we ended up getting 14 people in, uh, and then, of course, Mr. Soul VG, uh, who was super, super nice for subbing, really grateful for that, um, reached out to him last week, uh, and he was pretty much like, yeah, sign me up, I'm ready. Um, I am going to turn down my video settings quite a bit, just because I had turned them up to do some rendering of stuff. Um, I'm going to try and sit around here if I can. I need some apples before we go back, uh, before we go underground, start caving. Um, no one's taken any damage yet, which is good. probably be back next episode anyways um, mobs are insane in 113 um, they will absolutely destroy me um, so as soon as I get like three apples I'll probably head underground try to get a shield going as soon as I can get some armor I am lagging just a little bit uh, which I'm going to assume is because I'm recording this uh, through OBS um, I'm getting about 90 frames in game. It's just a little jumpy. It feels like um, maybe there's maybe the server's dying a little. Oh yeah, see little little jumps like that. But that's okay for now. I do need to go get more food. Uh, 114 is notoriously evil for food, um, so that's why I'm just kind of walking around everywhere, taking it slow, kind of chillaxing a bit. Um, getting an upgrade. Ooh dang. Okay, people are people are going. Uh, Nether is on. Um, that could prove to be pretty interesting since it is 1.9 plus. All potions are allowed as well. Um, so, could make things interesting. Nora's found someone. Ah, found Kitty. Oh, yeah. Uh, a Norable used to be impaired. Um, I'm trying to think. San Junipero was Keister. I think those are kind of the only name changes we've had in the last two years. <laughs> I know two TNT was technically like two TNT two thousand two, um, but now is two TNT has downsized a little bit. Um, and I'm actually going to turn down this even more because it is kind of killing my. Oh, there we go. Particles should be down. That should help. All right, first axe down. I'm just gonna try and get a lot of apples. It is vanilla rates. Um, because we do tend to play a more vanilla game, uh, so it's <laughs> probably going to take a little bit, um, but that's a-okay. We're doing great. I'm, I'm, I'm really thrilled. I'm, ooh, <laughs> TNT wants it. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know who it was. I wasn't checking. Hopefully, Kitty and RTNT was recording. Um, they pretty much got first damage at the same time. Maybe we'll just split it between them in the stats. Uh, only downside of not everybody recording. 
Hi, Mark. Um, okay, if I can get one more apple, I'll be, there we go, perfect, all right, and now let us go get some iron, we're gonna go, did I pick that up? I did. All right, we're gonna go on the hunt for some food, we need more chickens, we're going to need those arrows, bows are very powerful, um, we are also gonna need to find some sheep to get some wool so the phantoms don't come and murder us, looks like the day is already almost gone. Um, crap. Okay, let's go find some food. Um, anything will work. Sheep, pigs, wolf. That's good to note. It's a very big pit. Thought I saw a pig over here. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Ah, oh, fish. Duh. This is one thir uh, one thirteen, so we can swim, and there are fish. There we go. Perfect. Um, I'm going to go grab some of that coal, actually. Because uh, Fulbright is also not allowed. Sloth has also taken some damage. So that's another interesting thing that I'm going to have to remember, is you can swim uh, to get away. BBR is also already fighting bad guys. Okay. Uh, that's enough coal to get me started. There is some pigs. swim in one block high. There we go. I really hope I'm recording. Get wrecked. Okay. Got some bacon. Perfect. Uh, what? 17, 18 food total? I am going to try and get some more uh, if I can't... Ah, more chickens. Perfect. And I see some sugar cane. There's the rain. Oh, Mark. Oh, I almost hit that, dude. Oh, I had like a split second where I was like, oh, look, a chicken. I'm going to go get it. Okay, and it is nighttime, so it's okay that it's thundering. Um, but we do need to get underground. Maybe we'll go hop in that giant death cave that we saw earlier. Sheep. Oh, perfect. Okay. And I do see a zombie already. There's quite a few. I'm going to kill these sheep, though. There's one more that I can find. Get that bed made. There is, but there's also a zombie. Not worth it. Alright. Let's head out. Gotta go jump in that cave. There's some pigs. Kitty's already found iron. Okay. Whew, if I can get iron, man, I'm, 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 I'll go for it. So. Gotta remember not. To. Okay, perfect. There's a sheep over here. Anyways. Okay. I'm just going to dig down, I think. I don't really want to go looking for a cave. Banners are not craftable. Oh, I'm lagging pretty bad here. These, we, uh, we were going to play this on 114, but 114 is such a bugged mess of a version that we decided against it. And I'm just going to dig in here on this little island. I do need to watch that world border. It will be coming for me eventually, but for now, we are chilling. Perfect. Okay. I really hope... Uh, OBS is picking up my mic. Because uh, I, I did just get a new microphone. <laughs> that would really suck uh, if it didn't. Huh. I probably should have tested... Uh, my recording before I tried this. It looks like it is moving. So, alright, well, we're going for it. I'm excited to do uh, another intro again as well. 
It's been a it's been a minute since I've done one of those, so I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty hyped. I'm pretty excited. I'm uh, I'm gonna try and learn how to do some new renders. We'll see if that actually pans out. Um, try to up my game a little bit. Uh, another interesting thing to note in 113 is silverfish blocks. Um, if you touch them, they immediately explode. Now they're not a like a different breaking system. So I'm gonna turn down that freaking weather, dude. One percent. Oh, I need to turn off my subtitles. I wasn't even paying attention to them. Wow, breaking my own rules. Such a such a hypocrite. Um, if I can find some iron here in the stair mine before I get into a cave, we'll be way better off. Uh, we're going to want that shield as soon as possible. Okay. We still have... So, one, two, three. Only four people have taken damage so far. Mr. Sloth, Mr. Mark, and then TNT and Kitty, one of who is... Uh, first damage. I hear some lava. So we're going to try and dig to some lava. If we find a way in through here. I can't actually hear anything right now because that lightning's so dang loud. I'm just going to turn off weather noises, to be honest. Actually, sounds like it's above. I'm horrible at digging to sounds, by the way. Um... Uh, let's get that smelting, actually. I'm thinking about it. Because um, I do want... Oh, I don't have any. I have one more torch. I have a feeling DJ may go for some crazy powerful bows, which could be very, very spooky for us. Um... Yeah, we probably sh I, sh I probably should have found a bow nerf. Uh, this last week has just been so ridiculously hectic um, for me. I started up a new job, um, and I'm now working about 55 hours a week, which is, you know, normal, totally fine. Um, but I just didn't have enough time to do all the UHC things that I, I should have. So uh, that was the one thing I, I didn't get to. I pretty much wrote that script entirely from scratch. Um, I borrowed Ripper's Pathfinder 10 script, um, but um, I just realized we didn't break those beds. People are going to spawn back there outside the world border when they die. Great. Um, So let's do that. Okay. Oh, that lava lake's so close. I hear it. It's like right here somewhere, but I don't know where. Is it above? This way more. There it is. Okay. Uh huh. Still going up. Uh huh. Perfect! It does lead into a, a little cavey do. That's what I want to see. 
Ah, that's it, actually. Okay. That's fine. Got some lava to block us up a little bit. Uh, I do need some more coal, because I didn't grab any, so we are going to grab that right there. I want to save this lava if I can. Oh, I already killed it. Just kidding. Okay. I need this coal so I can make torches, smelt up this iron, and then we'll start caving a bit. Mark has already found diamonds. It's, uh, it's episode one. Um. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Uh, yeah. There's a lot. A, a lot of the newer people we brought in uh, are either non-existent in the UHC community or people like Quill, uh, who will destroy us all. Um, but all of them are really, really just wonderful people who. <laughs> I'll have already merged so well with this group. Uh, like I said, that S the SMP is running very, very smoothly right now. Um, before this UHC, one thing I failed to mention in the intro is we've actually started doing these things called SMP reward events. Um, basically, members of the server have the uh, opportunity to um, start the UHC with some just kind of basic items, um, which is why Kyle and Quill both got to start the UHC with 12 uh, cooked pork. Um, so this UHC, but, and we'll do a few before each UHC. Before this UHC, we did uh, three pig races, <laughs> um, which me and Mark set up. Uh, I hosted two of them, Mark hosted one. Um, and so it was Kyle, Quill, and Misty Unicorn were the three winners. Misty, unfortunately, couldn't be here. Uh, so his will transfer over to UHC 28. Uh, so he can start that one with 12 pork if he so chooses. Uh, otherwise it will, like, go away. The uh, events carry one over. And then, ooh, end of episode. We'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.